What's up guys, Max here with RC Window Films. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to install some frosted windows. Um, these are all side lights, let me show you real quick. We ended up doing an install of a dusted crystal film. We're at the Riverside County Sheriff's Department. So they don't want any visibility inside. Um, so this is a side light that we did. It's a 60 inch band and it's uh, 24 inches from the bottom. So if you look close, this is a uh, dusted crystal and it's going to give you a ton of privacy while still allowing light. So when you come in the facility and come into the building, you don't see anything. So just adds that little bit of decorative design uh, to great looking film. The first thing you want to do, make sure I get everything measured out. I like to use these bottom lines and I just use a little Sharpie which you can just clean off. So go like that, I grab a, a Sharpie, boom. Then I mark your side. Once that's marked, you wanna go ahead and clean off the glass. Um, it's important when you clean the glass to identify the type of glazing, uh, cause sometimes if you use say a scraper, you could potentially damage the glass. Um, and this, this is tempered, it's a little bit softer, honestly, it's supposed to be harder, but um, it's a little bit softer glass, so it is prone to scratching. So I'm gonna show you how to clean it without scratching. So this is just a Scotch-Brite pad. It's not gonna scratch your glass. You can get these at Home Depot or Lowe's. The first thing, this uh, the solution that I'm using is a little bit of Dawn dish soap um, and some water. And then I'm just gonna clean off the glass. Again, I'm using the Scotch-Brite so it doesn't scratch the glass. Make sure to focus on the frames where the seal is. They opted not to take off the seals. You shouldn't take off the seals for this anyway. So now that I got it completely cleaned, I'm gonna go ahead and use a squeegee. One thing I like to do is I like to wipe off the edges with a paper towel. One smooth motion all the way down. I'm gonna get this guy installed. What I do like about this, I mean, it's really tacky, All pretty much all dusted crystal is. Some you have to install utilizing backing paper, especially if there's like a design. With this one, not so much. So that's it. So what I did right there is I back rolled it. So I sprayed water on the back side of the film. I peeled the liner and I laid the liner on the back side and that's gonna allow me to unroll it and expose the adhesive. Now, I like to come down quite a bit, unrolling it just by hand. For me, it just works out better to line it up, and that's why I do it. Get that sucker sprayed off, and then I'm gonna start from where my line is, spraying this guy off. Now, Dawn dish soap and water is gonna allow the film to slip. And then it's right around there. Now I'm gonna peel my liner off. Expose the film entirely. One little trick with this, because we cut this off of the film handler, what's really nice with doing a band is we know for sure that it's perfectly straight. So what I did is I put the straight edge on this side. I lined up my mark that I'd already marked earlier and I'm setting that, making sure that it's lined up on both sides, and it is, and that this is perfectly straight. Once I have this perfectly straight, I know that my entire panel is straight, and then I can tack it down. I like to use this little squeegee, these sorts of jobs, because you really want to press out the water. I got that nice and tacked. All right. <laughs> So if you notice, what I did was, is I tacked my top edge. Once I tacked my top edge, I then went all the way down. That's to make sure this doesn't build up any sort of contamination or pull dirt back. And then I removed the water from this side. That's all she wrote. Now what I'm gonna do, check, check my alignment, check, check, check. This is still perfectly straight. We're good to go there. 
What I like to do is I like to trim it with this card. Um, this is essentially just like a little spackle. Uh, it's for drywall, but what we do is we bevel these edges and then we sand them down um, and it gives you a really tight seal. Boom. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put my blade at a 45 degree and I'm just gonna follow this all the way down along the seal. Boom. Peel off that extra, just like so. And it's so much better than using like a white card. Um, like a lot of guys will use these. That's gonna give you a massive gap. Um, so I just like using, or even one of these white cards, it's gonna give you kind of a bigger gap as well. Metal cards just give you a much better and cleaner look overall. All right, this is called bumping the edges. And really what bumping the edges means is removing the water from between the film and the seal. That way it doesn't come back into your film and contaminate it. So I'm just gonna bump the edges real quick. Now the paper towel acts to absorb the water where the seal is. And just work your way all the way down. With the edges, you wanna work down. Make sure there's no water there. You can flip your towel, do the same thing on the opposite end. Water's not your friend when you've set the film. It is certainly your friend when you're trying to position it. And now I just want you to work all the way up, removing water out, done. Once we got that set, we are good to go. Customer will be happy if we cleaned it off. They are gonna have another crew come out, a cleaning crew, and they're gonna clean up all the windows. But for us, we just like to wipe them down. They look nice and presentable. That's how you install frosted film.